time. I haven't did a story time in so long, but here we go, okay? Now, before I start the story time, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please be Panther, subscribe, 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 okay? And turn on your post notifications so you can know when my next video is going to be here, okay? Let's get it. Okay, so, this story time is about, um, I guess you could say, why me and Scooby stop being friends. And if you guys don't know who Scooby is, I mentioned him in my other previous story times. But yeah, this is the story time how and why me and Scooby are not friends anymore. I guess you could say the person I kind of lost respect over, the person that's not him. Yeah. Anyway, so here we go. So let me get out the background st story of me and Scooby, okay? So me and Scooby been friends, best friends since high school, freshman year, okay? We was best friends all through the four years, okay? Freshman year, sophomore year, junior year, senior year, okay? Things didn't get rocky between us to senior year. And I would like to say second semester of senior year. We had two fights, okay? Uno, dos, okay? We had two fights. Out of those two fights, the second one was the end, the cutoff, the, the final. That's it. Final curtain. Whatever. Okay? So here we go. So me and him, we met freshman year in world geography class. Now, I didn't talk to, like, me and him didn't really talk to each other, but we had mutual friends in the classroom, and then we started talking. We started vibing. I was like, oh, my God, he's so nice. And it turns out I knew his sister. Because me and his sister had the same class together. So, yeah. So, me and him became best friends, right? BFFs, okay? That was freshman year. Sophomore year, still best friends. Um, I didn't have a class with him, but we still had mutual friends. But we still talk on the phone, stuff like that. Junior year, again, still best friends. Even though I didn't have a class with him, I saw him all the time. And this was when we hung out all the time when i tell you that every weekend every friday or saturday night we will go to the movies he became my movie buddy it all started with marvel movies then it became to i guess you could say scary thriller movies comedy movies like we was always at the movies like me and him were bffs like you couldn't tell me nothing like that was my bff okay so he wasn't just a BFF to me. He was like a best friend slash brother. Like, he was another Ryan to me. Like, Ryan is like my best friend slash brother by blood. That's how I treated Scooby, okay? So, oh yeah, and then I gave him a nickname. I give all my friends nickname, but yeah, I'm not going to tell y'all y'all nickname. But to y'all, his name is Scooby. So, here we go. So, senior year. So, like I said, senior year, we were BFFs. We had two classes together. You know, everything is the same, right? Like I said, we had two fights. One fight was so, like, tremendously, oh, my God. Like, that's a story in itself. But I'm not going to talk about that. But, yeah, we had our first fight. I thought that was the end of our friendship, okay? But we talked it out. We became best friends again. But the second time, yo, if y'all ever said that me and Scooby was going to stop being friends, especially before senior year ended, I would have thought y'all lying. Get out of my goddamn face. Leave me alone or you a fortune teller because you're telling the wrong fortune. Give me my cars back. Run me my money. Like, you're, you're bugging. No. It was true. So here we go, y'all. Tell me why. Tell me why, okay? Guess what happened? So it's a normal day, meaning I have first, I had first and second period with him. Like I said, we're talking, we're BFFs, we tell each other everything, whatever, whatever. He walks me to my third period class, and then he goes on to his third period class. Now, usually after my third period class, I see him. We wave. Sometimes we do. Sometimes we don't. Um. Then, you know, throughout the day, whatever. Um, This is when it got creepy. This is, like, not creepy. This is where it got weird. So, I had seven period off 
senior year. So usually after my sixth period, I usually see him. Now he was with Slime. If you don't know who Slime is, I mentioned her in my previous story times. Well, it was just one story time. He was with Slime and he was with his other friend. We're going to call him Shaggy because he was always with him, okay? He was walking with Slime and Shaggy. So he looked, so Scooby looked upset. So I was just like, okay, that's weird. Why is he upset? So I was saying, oh, hey, Scooby. I don't know if he heard me or I don't know because he didn't look in my direction. Like, I don't know if he heard me, but he looked upset, though. So and he was like walking pretty fast. So I was like, OK, I'm just going to text him when I get home. Because like I said, I had seven period off and he had uh, office work seven period. So usually me and him be texting sometimes. So I'm texting him, right? No, first I went on Snapchat. This is when I had Snapchat. So I went on Snapchat, and this was when I think, you remember, I don't know if Snapchat still does it, because like I said, I don't have Snapchat. But on Snapchat, you have shrieks with people that you, like, talk to, like, all the time, every day. And I think me and him had a shriek. Either me and him had a shriek, or we, the point is, we usually talk on Snapchat, so I was about to send him a snap saying, like, oh, hi, Scooby. Um, I waved to you after six period. I didn't see you. Tell me why, yo. I didn't see his name. I didn't see our conversation the last time we talked on Snapchat. I didn't see nothing. So I'm like, what? So in my mind, I'm like, I know this boy did not block me because I'm like, what did I do? Like, I was confused. So I didn't see him on Snapchat. I followed him on Twitter. He blocked me on Twitter. Did I have it? He blocked me on Instagram. Like, when I tell you he blocked me on everything, he blocked me on everything. So I was trying to text him. Now my text message, I don't even know if my text message went through. I don't know if he blocked my number or it went through, but he just read it. I don't know. But the point is, I couldn't contact him. So part of me, not part of me, the whole of me, my whole body, mind, body, soul, I was confused because I was like, okay. First of all, we're best friends. Second of all, what did I do? Third of all, I barely saw you today. And if I do, it's on some normal type. Fourth, like, I was confused. And I'm like, why would he block me on everything? So the next day, I was like, okay, I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to talk to him. So first period started. I'm like, well, did he get in the classroom? Because usually in first period, I sit behind him. So, I didn't see him. So, I'm looking throughout the, we had, um, uh, it wasn't pre-cal. It was like another math class, but yeah. So, I'm looking, I'm like this. I'm like looking for him. He's over there sitting in a bag. And he's giving me the most dirtiest look, like disgusting looks. Like, why are you looking at me? I don't know you. What's good? Like. I'm like, what? So I was going to talk to him. It seems like every time I was trying to talk to him, I'm not going to lie, I would chicken out. Because at first, I'm trying to figure out, why is he mad at me? What did I do? And my thing is, if he mad at me, why he just can't come over here and talk to me? Like, I was just so confused. So we had second period together. And he was with his other BFF. So I'm like, okay. So I was going, but like I said, every time I didn't get a chance to talk to him, because like I said, every time I try to talk to him, I was chicken out. I get like, I got scared because I'm just like, what did I do? When I tell you I'm trying to come up with what I did, I really, to this day, I don't know what I did. And that was three years ago. And I still don't know what I did to this day, right? So, 
I'm like talking to people, but in the same breath, I'm not asking like, oh, do you know why Scooby is talking? Because I don't want to bring them in it, but nine times out of ten, they probably do know why he's not friends with me anymore, but still, I didn't want that to be a big deal. So, you know what? I just decided to not talk to him, to leave him alone. I'm like, maybe he just needs space. And when he's ready to talk to me, he's ready to talk to me. <clears throat> no, wrong. That was pretty much the end. Like, when I didn't talk to him, like, I think he stopped talking to me either the ending of March or the beginning of April. That was it. School was old. We graduated in June. So, if he stopped talking to me in March, I haven't talked to him in three months. And if he stopped talking to me in April, I haven't talked to him in two months. Senior year was over. Me and him had plans to go to a senior gathering. We had a plan to go to that. I, I, um, we didn't go together. He went with Slime. And I'm like, I don't think Slime, because even though me and Slime, we wasn't cool then, I don't think she said anything. Because my whole thing is, I didn't even talk to her. So I'm like, so I'm really trying to figure out why this boy is not talking to me, like, literally. And I guess I should have just, like, bossed up and just asked him why he wasn't talking to me or why he stopped being my friend, but I don't know. So, like I said, we were supposed to go to senior to uh, the senior event together. He was supposed to be my movie buddy. We were supposed to see movies together. We didn't see, it together, see them together. Um, he went to... Uh, the dance show for like dance teams we didn't go together like we just stopped being friends right so that so he even didn't tell me happy birthday he did not tell me happy birthday so i'm like yeah he's really mad right so his birthday is two months after mine so i was like okay i'm just gonna send him a happy birthday just explaining whatever whatever this was ba that was basically my closure because i'm the type of person i'm i'm i like closure so yeah so i sent him a happy birthday text message and he said thank you that was it then months later he texts me halloween to be exact this is what he said this is what he said okay so first he's like hi um you know, I just want to apologize because, um, you know, I just want to apologize because, you know, I stopped being friends with you. I didn't give you an explanation why I stopped being friends. But I talked to a friend and a friend was telling me that I did you wrong. You had to talk to somebody to let you know you did your best friend wrong. That's that's number one. Number two, I need explanations, baby. Who, what, when, where, why, and how, okay? Why did you stop talking to me? Oh, um, because you said something about me. First of all, a messy person if i got something to say i'm gonna confront you i'm sorry i'm just that type of person and why would i talk about you again it's not adding up who did i say this to he couldn't give me an answer what did i say i don't remember if you don't remember you should have picked up the phone and talked to me like my thing is I don't know why you stopped talking to me and you're still not giving me answers. You saying this apology because of what? Because of what? You want to be cool again? Okay. But the dumb part of me, I ask all those questions. But you know, such a person I am, I just let it go. I'm like, you know what? I'm going to let it go. It is what it is. That was months ago, right? But the more I think about it, the more I thought about it, I'm just like, something is still not sitting right with me. Because you basically said I talked about you. Why in the heck would I talk about you? Second of all, what did I say? Oh, you said something about how 
I was depressed and I looked depressed. What? That was so detrimental. That was so traumatizing. That was the below. That was the worst of the worst I could have said about you. Really? 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 It didn't make any sense to me. So I want y'all to ask me, what do y'all think I said? Was that right for him to stop talking about me? Do you think he could have been mature enough to have a conversation about me if we were so-called best friends? First of all, why are you believing people about what I said? Second of all, you should know me better than that because you know I'm not messy. And why would I talk about you? Because you're my BFL. And if I got into some, if, and if I have something to say, I'ma come to you, say what I got to say. I still don't know to this day, y'all. And I'm being real. I mean real. I don't know what happened. And that is a sucky feeling when somebody stops talking about you and you don't know what you've done. Isn't that a sucky feeling? Isn't that a sucky feeling? Please let me know if y'all have been this, if y'all have gone through this. Like you cool with somebody and all of a sudden somebody just stopped talking to you. You're going to be like, what the? You're going to be like, did the world end? Like, what's up? So. I'm going to say this, and I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart. Scooby, if you're watching this, and I'm looking at you, if you're watching this, I don't have a problem with you because I told you I was cool with you, which I am. I don't have a problem with you, but I still don't know why you stopped talking to me. And again, we're probably never going to speak again or whatever. If I'm the type of person, I need closure. I'm going to need for you to give me a hint. Like, I'm going to, come on, you forgot, you forgot. Who does that? Who says that? Oh, yeah, by the way, you know, I'm best friends with you. I don't know where you, I can contact you. Oh, why are you mad at me? Oh, I forgot. Clearly that clearly me and you me and him wasn't close like I was because my whole thing is if I'm calling you a bit I called you like a brother. A brother. That's like saying if Ryan stop talking to me, I'm getting there about to die. Because I'm like, why is my brother not talking to me? Like, come on now. And I hate when Ryan piss gets mad at me. So just imagine how I felt when Scooby stopped talking to me. Come on now. But yeah, that's why me and Scooby are not. Well, actually, okay, I'm gonna say this. Like I said, after he texted me, we was cool. We talked a couple of times after that. Then, yeah, yeah, my number got you. Yeah, that happened. And then I saw him at his job. I don't know if he still works there to this day, but I saw him at his job two times. And the second time, he didn't say hi to me. So I don't know if something else transpired. I don't know. Like I said, to me, Scooby changed after that. I'm not going to lie. After that whole stop talking to me, I'm not going to lie. I don't look at him the same. And I feel like if we ever want to rekindle a friendship, I feel like we still need to talk about that. Like, I understand that was three years ago, but maybe I'm going to be free. I'm going to be free. I'm gonna need for you to, I'm gonna need for your your memory to go back to three years ago. I'm gonna need for you to tell me what I said, because I know darn well I didn't say it. I'm gonna need for you to tell me who told you I said that. I'm gonna I'm gonna need answers. And if we were so-called cool when I went to your job, why didn't you say hi to me? Just saying. Just saying. But anyway, I don't have a problem with you, Scooby. Um, if you watch this video. Hit me up. I know you don't have my number, but hit me up on social. You know, hit me up. Find a way. Ask somebody from, I don't know. Hit me up if you want to talk. But anyway, I don't have a problem. I don't have a problem with Scooby. I just wanted to let y'all know more of the story. If somebody ever does that to you, honestly, even though I was chicken and didn't ask why I was. Like, I didn't ask him why he stopped being my friend. 
If y'all need closure, if y'all like me and y'all need closure, go talk to that person. And if that person is still going around in circles, going, just don't want to tell you, then I'm not going to say F them, but forgive them. Everything happens for a reason. Maybe it wasn't meant to be meant for us to be friends. My thing is, dang, could it have happened any other? Like, could it have happened like another way? Why you gotta stop talking to me? I don't know. The moral of the story is don't let nobody do that to you. Have closure. Um, make sure you have a conversation with that person. And if you somebody that had done that to somebody, shame on you. Because that really is a sucky feeling. I'm not going to lie. You cool with somebody. You're close to somebody. You're thinking y'all going to be friends forever. And all of a sudden they stop talking to you. That's a sucky feeling. So don't ever do that to somebody. And if you need closure, you guys, try to reach out to that person. You know? So yeah, I'm not going to lie. I kind of lost respect for him after that. I kind of... Didn't look at him the same after that. Like, we was cool, but I'm still side-eyeing him because I'm like, dang, I still, to this day, know why we stopped talking. And I'm just tired. I'm like, oh, tell me. Okay? Anyway, it is what it is. I'm going to let go, baby. I'm happy. Okay? I just want to tell you guys this story time because it was messed up. But anyway, I hope you guys like this story time. Make sure you like or dislike, thumbs up, or thumbs down, comment, please, please be panther, subscribe, 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 turn on your post notifications so you can know when my next video is going to be here, okay, because y'all know when y'all ring that bell, you're going to be like, ring it, 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 ring at Pinky's Entertainment. Follow me on two of my Instagrams, one at the Pinky Show and one at Pinky's Entertainment, okay? And like my say goes, let's smile for your style. Don't worry. Be happy, okay? This your girl, Pinky, P-I-N-K-Y, and